Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to teach you how to make a mug cozy. This is a great beginner sewing project. It's fun and easy. It's only a little bit of sewing. All of the edges are enclosed so you can use just a sewing machine. It keeps your hands, you know, from getting burned, but it also keeps the heat inside the mug a little bit longer. I use mine all the time throughout the winter. This is a great way to use up your scrap fabrics because you just need a small piece and it's really fun um, to see what kind of fun fabrics you can put around the cozy. So let's get started. For this project, you're going to need um, like a scrap of either quilting cotton or cotton canvas. I'm going to be making both today just so you can see the result and how it fits around the mug. You will also need fusible fleece and fusible interfacing. Um, I'm going to be attaching mine with buttons so you will need um, a little bit of a quarter inch wide elastic and some buttons. So the first thing you're going to do is cut out two pieces of fabric that are um, 11 and a half inches wide and three and a half inches tall. So I'm doubling this which you can see. So I'm going to try to use this section right here from my fabric. Now I'm going to iron my fabric pieces flat and then apply the interfacing and the fusible fleece. When you are apply, applying the interfacing and the fusible fleece, it doesn't matter which side you're putting the interfacing or the fusible fleece because like it's the same on the wrong side and the right side, so it doesn't really matter. This is really just giving stability and strength to the inside of the mug cozy. The next thing you're going to do is you are going to take two, uh, your two fabric pieces and you're going to place them right sides together and pin them together matching all of your edges and corners. Now you are going to sew around the edges with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. You need to leave about a 2 or 3 inch hole so that you can turn it right side out and make sure you backstitch when you start and when you stop to give strength to your stitches right around the hole. Now you're going to take a pair of scissors and on each corner we are going to trim so you're not cutting through the stitching you're just cutting the seam allowance like removing it in that corner. This is to remove the bulk so that when you turn it right side out there's not a bunch of extra fabric right there in the corner. Next, you're going to turn it right side out through the hole. And then next, take a point turner, which I can't find my point turner at the moment. So I'm using this. This is usually used for like stuffed animals to poke out the arms, but I'm going to use it to poke out my corners. Next, I'm going to press each of these flat and make sure when you're pressing it flat 
that you get that you keep that seam allowance folded inside so that when you press it it's folded inside and then we can stitch it closed later Now you are going to stitch all the way around. You are going to stitch 1 8 inch from the edge that's going to close this hole. If you want, you can use pins or clips to keep those two folds right on the edge together. It does help when you iron it to keep those edges, um, the folds right at the same place. So these are done and then um, I cut two pieces of quarter inch elastic that is three inches long. I also have the buttons which I need to pull off. Each mug cozy is going to get a button. So I'm going to sew this on with my sewing machine and I'm going to place it. It just has to be right here on the edge but centered from top to bottom and then I'm going to take my elastic and on this other side I'm folding it or rolling it I'm meeting the ends like this and then I'm going to move this loop out of the way and then just sew back and forth right here alternatively you can sew it in the seam but if you forget like sometimes I do then we're just going to zigzag it. It's important that you zigzag it because you don't want these edges to fray. These don't get washed that often, so it's not that big of a deal, but then, then you'll have that loop to hook onto your button. Once you have your buttons and loops, your mug cozy is finished and you can you just wrap it around a mug like this you kind of have to slide the loop through the handle put it over the button and you have your mug cozy so i have this one out of quilting cotton and i have this one out of cotton canvas and I actually don't notice that big of a difference. They feel similar. This one just feels, this one feels just like a little bit sturdier, maybe stiffer. And that's how you make a mug cozy. I can't wait to see all of the mug cozies that you make. Please share them with me on social media. Check out these playlists with beginner sewing projects and scrap fabric sewing projects. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you have a wonderful day.